What is up guys? How is everybody doing today? Today I got something pretty cool in the mail. This is from Coins and Coffee. So what happened the other day was him and Legitzer Noobs were doing a box hunt where each of them had a box and they were hunting in that box and whoever found the most, the loser had to give away at the end of the stream everything that they had found. And it just so happened that I won what Coins and Coffee found. And that is freaking amazing, man. I, you know, I was kind of late showing up to it and I really felt bad about that. And then the fact that I won too, I was like, oh man, you know, I kind of felt bad because there was only like five rolls left. And I was really trying to make it there for a while, but I got caught up in a bunch of stuff and I just couldn't make it. And, uh, but I did make it and I made it just in time. This is my second win from him too. So it just makes it that much more special. I mean, He's a good guy. If you don't know who Coins and Coffee is, you really need to check him out because he's a great channel. He's a really cool guy. And I know that there is something more than that in this in this package. Because this thing weighs a couple ounces. But there's no way that those pennies is what is in here. So we were talking about buffaloes. Towards the end of the stream, he showed this big bag of buffaloes that he had. And he was doing the, um, what's it called? Um, nick a date so I'm not exactly sure what that is but I think that that is when you have something that you can't read the date on you dip it in the nick a date and then you you give it a couple minutes and then the date kind of shows up it's like it cleans the coin and shows the date again I'm pretty sure that's what that is but I'm not positive so anybody that knows leave a comment below and let me know if that's what it is I'm pretty sure that's what it is but like I told him, I was like, I'm just trying to buy them to have them as giveaways. You know, it's nothing. I'm not trying to sell it or or have it as like a collection. Although I will keep some for my collection as well because I love them. I just, I really love it. The, the design is my favorite. It really is. But um, I wanted to have some stuff to kind of do as giveaways as well. So I emailed him after I won and I said, here, this is my address just in case you don't have it from the last time. And by the way... Let me know what you want. If you want to sell any of those buffaloes, let me know what you want. I'll buy a one or two rolls from you. So, I have a feeling what is in here is some buffaloes. Because there's no way that the weight is that. Now, we're going to check it out now. Because I haven't looked in this yet. We got a letter. That's good. And then we have... I'll tell you what. I'm not even going to look in that yet. Let's not look in I'm going to turn this. I don't want to show his address because I'm not sure if that's something that's online or not. I don't remember. I think it is, but I'm not sure. Let's look here and see what he says. Congratulations, Capital Currency. So I'm kind of bummed that I lost my first penny box battle with Legits or Noobs. However, I'm super stoked that that means you've won all of my findings. Heck yeah. In total, there are 10 wheat pennies. Eight 2009s and two Canadians, Canadian pennies, including a 1949 King George VI. Now, I know you were interested in some Buffalo nickels as well, so I threw in 40 of them. Are you serious, bro? Ross, you are the man. See, I knew it. I called that. I knew he was going to do that. That's what kind of dude he is. He's a stand-up guy. If you are not part of his channel, you need to go. You're doing yourself a disservice. All dates, either being full or partial. I hope all of these coins find you well and make nice additions to your collection. Thank you for always supporting me and my channel. And keep up the great work. All the very best, Roth Coins and Coffee. You know what? This community never ceases to amaze me. Oh, man, this is freaking awesome. Let's see what we got here. I knew he was going to do that. Look at that. That's a roll of buffalo nickels. Whether they're cleaned or not, I mean, they're free. He just sent me a whole freaking roll. That's awesome. You are the best, man. You know, this community is so great. There is a certain few people that I love dealing with because... They're just great people. Let's see. 
These look like Canadians. That is a 2009. And these must be the wheats in it. Yep. Cool. I'm going to open these up and then we're going to see what we got because I can't just leave it at this. We got to see what we got. Hold on for one second and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So let's see what we got here. This is the foreign. I'm pretty sure that's a Bahamas. Yep. Very cool. That is freaking awesome. And then we got a Canadian scent. 1949. Very cool. Then we got, we'll save the wheat scent. This is very cool. Look at this. I forgot what it's called. This is actually the first one I've, well, I didn't find it. This is my first one with the cabin on it. I have not found that yet. I don't search a whole lot of pennies, but I search enough to where you'd think I'd found one by now, but I still haven't. I think I have like only one or two of these. And then there's two of these. The informative years, I think is what that's called. And then there's four of these. I can't remember what they're all called. I should have been more prepared for this, but what are you going to do? That's what happens when you open up stuff live. That has got some pretty cool turn into it, doesn't it? It's like a freaking rainbow. That's the other one. And then we've got one more. Very cool. I love these things. And then we've got 10 wheat scent. Now, everybody knows what the back looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and show you. This was a stunner. This is the first one I noticed. This one's nice. So that's what the back looks like to all of them. And then we'll just go through the dates. So we got a 1951D. A 1946. Does that say 1930? That's cool. That might be my first 30. 1956D. 1948, 1955, 1953D, 1955, 1955D, and then 1945. That is very cool. Man, that's awesome. Let me show you guys what we got. I think we got enough time. Let's just go through them. These are the nickels. I'm going to show you guys the dates on these. So, that's the front, that's the back. Some of these only have three legs, I believe. I'm not sure what that date is, I can't remember offhand. But we got a 1937, 1937, 1935, 1937, 1936 or 8, but I think it's a 6. 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 1936, 
1936. 1926. And 1936. Very cool. This is awesome, man. I really appreciate this. You have no idea. You guys always seem to make my day. You really do. 1936. 1937. 1935. 1936. be the only one I can't read so far but I think it's 1925 1937 1937 1936, 1934 and then 1937 awesome very very cool Ross you were the man I really appreciate it if you don't know coins and coffee please go check him out please subscribe to his channel he's a great guy he's got a great channel he does a lot of hunts and stuff like that he's got some some great stuff on his channel and uh just a great part of the community. Somebody that really supports everybody as best he can. And, um, you know, he's just a good guy. So go check him out. And I'm going to leave it at that. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. And have a great day.